Very good. Did a nice job, just like we teach. What did you like most about him? Well, I had a good pregame speech with him, and that's exactly what I told him to do. <laughs> he just did a beautiful job of following the game plan we gave him. No, he has uh, obviously has really good stuff. There's one thing uh, the umpire, Brian O'Nor, came over and said, this guy has got really good stuff. And um, that showed. You could see at times it looked like Oscar was even having a hard time catching some of the uh, cutters and fastballs he was throwing. Um, I love the intensity. And that's what we said the other day when we called him up, that that's one of the things we liked about him. Um, he fit right in and uh, didn't seem to be bothered by anything. And that, that play, I think, that turned the game in his favor was the 1-6-2 uh, double play, which you don't see often. And he uh, got rid of the ball real quick, and Nick Ahmed made a great throw to, to home. But his stuff was great. Um, Oscar did a nice job of handling him, and uh, we played good defense behind him, so that's very good. We got some runs for him, which makes, makes probably makes him feel more comfortable also. Sure. How, how much the game it's before the game, his sinker was, was his out pitch, but he, that sinker was really effective tonight, wasn't it? Yeah, and, and the thing about it, he sinks it and he cuts it, and he knows when he's going to do it. And his cutter goes down, too, almost looks like a slider. Um, I mean, from the side, it was hard to tell what he was throwing sometimes. Uh, how much of a heads-up play is that double play, to, to know to go to second and you have the time? Well, it's a, it's a gutsy play on his part. Um, sometimes pitchers, when they get the ball, they just throw it to first to get the out. Uh, he obviously has uh, been taught well along the way. He came, we got him from the Cubs, and um, he had, was, was fearless in that situation because it was very close at second. Um, but he knew, and that's one thing I stressed him, that our infield defense is as good as anybody's and to trust guys. So um, he was confident and threw a, threw a seed right there to the uh, shortstop. Yeah, but the double play, it looked like he, he looked the guy back at third for, for he did. second. He did. He uh, froze him, and then it created the double right. play. He did. And that's why... When he did it, both Mark Grace, Mark Grace was sitting right next to me. And we both kind of said, "Oh, like he, we didn't think we, he would have time to get the guy at second, but he did. I mean, it was close, but he got him." Did you see any uh, adrenaline issues or nerve issues that you didn't see? Uh, and he had, had adrenaline. I mean, I, that that definitely was there. He was fired up, and uh, but I think that's the way he always pitches. He's in, he's a max effort guy, um, mentally and physically. So I think that sort of helped him in this situation that the adrenaline. It's just like any other time for him pitching. With Godley also going in there and leaning on Oscar a bit, do you think that conf that gave confidence to Oscar's game as well? Yeah, I definitely think so. And um, Oscar's handled himself beautifully in these days. He's had a catch. He'll start and um, learn these pitchers on the fly right now. So uh, I mean, it's it's a tribute to him. He, though, that's not easy stuff to catch. How, how much did you know about Godley coming into the game? Just what we looked on video and we 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 traded for him, uh, Stu. Was very very high on him. Dejon Watson, uh, Mike Russell, they all said this is a guy we have to have in this trade. Uh, when we traded Miggy, I don't think anybody expected um, the names we got back. You know, we kind of got you know a little barrage for that trade. And, and quite honestly, we knew this guy had you know big league stuff. He was a reliever for him. We saw him that he could be a starter, and he could also end up relieving for us. So um, just see where his innings end up. You know, we we'll have to be very careful with that. You know, as a, as a reliever now, uh, or as a, last year now becoming a starter, we have to be careful we don't overload him. How much of an advantage does it give him beyond just how well he pitched that the Brewers probably didn't know much about him? Well, I, I mean, that, that does help. That does help. That's Like I said, I was comparing some things early in the year when I was in Oakland in 2012, and no one knew who Jared Parker was. No one knew who those guys we had, um, Griffin and – it does. I think the other teams like to know what they're facing. Uh, they like to uh, have a lot of video on them. But the, the difference today is that you can get video of minor league players. It's not that hard anymore. So um, I just think when his stuff's on, it's very difficult to hit, period. Obviously, he had great command. Other than the hit batter, he didn't walk anybody. Right. Yeah. Right. And I mean, even the hit batter, I don't know if that wasn't a swing or not, you know, so... Uh, that's that's something that we preach, and we try to pitch down and with downward movement, and and to command the fastball. So he did he did everything we asked. When did Onora uh, mention that to you? Guys? Well, when I went out to ask him a couple times, because there were some balls that were getting, you know, some balls that were bouncing and, and hitting him. I want to make sure he was okay. <laughs> uh, how nice is this? When you feel you guys needed at this point in the season? We need everyone. <laughs> Let's face it. I mean. Uh, you want to win every game and you go out there and play. We expect to win when we, when we leave the, the clubhouse. I thought the guys played well. And uh, 
Milwaukee's a hot team coming in here, and you know they got the three runs in the ninth. I think they feel a little bit better about themselves. So we have to come out in the first inning uh, tomorrow and be ready to go. Does it feel like a while since you guys had an easy win like this? I would never call any win easy. Well, exactly. Comfortable win. I'm more comfortable. Yeah, I mean it probably so, but um, you know we were getting Hudson ready, and maybe even you know one guy gets on, we have to get uh, Zig up too. So it's never comfortable anymore in the game. Did you take him out after six because he was done? or was it Well, I thought the last at bat he had yeah. to get out of the six, uh, and even Hark said that because he was kind of pushing for him to go a little longer, and then once that at bat occurred, we both looked at each other and said, that's enough. You know, he had a great outing, and um, we had plenty of bullpen right left. If, if he keeps this kind of level of performance up over the next two that he's slated to get, I mean, Send him back down. Let's just let's worry about the next start. <laughs> let's not let's not get too far ahead of let's ourselves. Yeah, let's 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 just let him have a nice night and uh, celebrate with his family, and then uh, he has to get ready for another start. It's the big leagues. Thank you, guys. took some of your advice today too. Well, he he uh, you know he had the good at bats early and then struggled a little bit late, but you know the one thing about Yasmani and that we we want to make sure we we stay with is a very positive. Um, tone because it's not easy. He's a rookie, and people sometimes the way he started and the way he's hit for us and, and drove some runs in early, um, people think it's easy for him. It's not. He's in the same boat as a rookie, and uh, there's going to be struggles, and uh, we're going to address them and, and uh, want to have want to have more consistent at bats throughout the game.